Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. Here we go. Here we go. A public service to you, dear listener. Cliff notes for Thanksgiving dinner in a politically divided family where that Trump or uncle has had one too many and insists on talking about him. Okay, so you have a lot of, because you know already what's going to happen. So when they say, I'll bet when you saw the grocery bill for this meal, you missed those mean tweets all of a sudden, you say... Um, as a matter of fact, the average Thanksgiving dinner is $61 less expensive than it was last year. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. I mean, I, I remember I, I, I saw the, you know, someone did a graph yesterday of all the ingredients and it's really true. It's And that's part of the fight of this election is objective truth and facts. Mm-hmm. Right. And what what they just feel. Right. Bingo. I mean, that's, again, by design, the the greatest weapon we have in our arsenal as human beings are facts and the truth. And if you dismantle that, I mean, George Orwell famously wrote about this, you know, then you have all the power. If you're able to dismantle the truth and dismantle facts, then you have the power. Well, we were just, we've been talking about the, these, who is it, Clay Higgins, saying this week about ghost buses to to (laughs) the FBI director. Mm -hmm. About, oh, that weren't there all these federal agents dressed as MAGA, you know, and he's just like, no, there were not. I mean, they're trying to rewrite the truth of stuff we saw on video, right? A thousand percent. And then there was that picture that went viral that they were spreading of, of someone with a police badge and it was a vape. Yes. It was a vape <laughs> pen or whatever they called those. And and they yeah. spread it around. I saw Don Jr. even share that as if it was fact. And even the Speaker of the House himself, someone who helped plot you know, the events of January 6th and leading up to January 6th put out this weekend that it was a narrative, a narrative. Yeah. What we saw was a narrative that we that the American people have been fed that isn't factual, but that they can give us the facts, which yeah. are counter to what we've seen. And Mike Johnson, of course, is, you know, get, have, has to lick, you know, far right wing, you know, hole, yeah. I guess. Uh-huh. And so he's releasing all of the, you know, the footage. I don't understand how that helps them because as we know there are hours and hours and hours of violent footage and they think because there are some clips of them walking peacefully like as I said yesterday I'm sure there are clips of some Germans not killing Jews you know what I'm saying there's <laughs> sorry that was a bad dark some Nazis not dark, killing yeah. but it, we're in a dark period in our history <laughs> it, right but I mean it had, like that disproves the violence of January 6th even though people have it, pled guilty and are in prison Exactly. It's gaslighting. And now there's all these there's all these competing narratives coming from them, one of which is that actually it was peaceful and the police that day incited the attack because they fired on the crowd. And it's like, all you have to do is some critical thinking here. It's like, wait a minute, there are Oath Keepers and Proud Boys in prison because they were planning the event in December. How could they have been incited to do that on that day? And by the way, how could someone be incited in a moment to erect a DIY pop-up gallows? Like, I just don't know. Who carries? Who's like? Oh, I have a two by four and some rope. I am incited now. I shall build that, a I gallows. I asked that at the time, Joe. Is there a gallows R us? Do they come pre-assembled? Or are there? Yes. Um. All is, right. Let go ahead. Add water. Yeah. Right. It's like a chia gallows. Can you make one? Of them? Um. All right. Let's go back to your primer because it's so critical to uh, American democracy. Uh. Let's see. So, uh, your Trump or whoever uncle says, uh, Trump would end the wars in Ukraine and Gaza in 24 hours. Mm-hmm. You say. Well, I mean, he had four years of saying every that that infrastructure would come in two right. weeks or that a health care bill was imminent and didn't get any of it accomplished. Two of those years, he had the House, the Senate and the White House. Sure. OK, yeah. Give him 24 hours and he'll solve this crisis that is, you know, uh, as old as the history of time. Yeah. He couldn't do anything in four years, but a tax break for the rich. Yeah, absolutely. Tax he'll break. solve it. He'll just say one thing to you know one side and one thing to the other. And yeah. Okay, deal. everyone just wants to bring you to thanks their Thanksgiving. That's <laughs> you can't get Leslie Jones or JoJo from Jersey, and you're on your own. What? So listen up. There's the other one. Uh, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Um, oh, if they just say the random, but he made America great again. You say he lost more jobs since the Great Depression and added seven point eight trillion dollars to yeah. our national debt. Yeah. And I, 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 you don't even want to talk about how he mishandled the pandemic. Right. I mean, America certainly not wasn't great under him, and he didn't make it any better. Yeah, which either didn't exist, it was a hoax, or he single handedly invented the vaccine and right. something that you're right. not supposed yeah. to take. But just depends on the day. <laughs> right. 
Okay. Oh, uh, when they say he built the wall, you say? Actually, <laughs> he built 452 miles of, really, he just added to pre-existing wall, yes. and he didn't get Mexico to pay for it. Not only didn't Mexico pay for it, yes. he took the money from our Department of Defense to the tune of about $15 billion because Congress wouldn't yes. give him the money. And now he's saying he never said Mexico was going to pay for it because he knew there was no mechanism yes. for Mexico to pay for it, but they said they would pay for a part of it. And then, by the way, they didn't say they'd pay for a part of it, but they paid in soldiers because they put soldiers there. I mean, come on. You're, you're just fantastic in every way. <laughs> um, don't you love that part of his speech now where he calls them stupid to their face? Uh-huh. Where he's like, remember the thing where you said me- that I said Mexico's going to pay for the wall and you believed it? There's no mechanism for that ever. I mean, what a bunch of <laughs> dopes you are. <laughs> but I mean, isn't that what he's saying? Like he's telling yeah, them yeah. there was never any way for that to happen. You're morons. Because remember they used to chant it. Who's going to pay for the wall? Amazing. <laughs> Sorry, that was like putting on the roots. I, they, to me, they all sound like, Yooper Dooper. That's, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I, I have to get my... Oh, okay. But Biden is senile. And you say... Um, Donald Trump keeps misnaming both who he ran against, which he says is uh, was Jeb Bush, but that Jeb Bush was president during Iraq, and now he's saying he's running against Barack Obama now. Right. And by the way, he asked actual medical doctors about injecting disinfectants to cure COVID. I mean, don't even get me started on you know the eclipse and thinking that nipple and button were the names of countries. I mean, you could you could go all day long. Get hummus, one new hummus. We're we're fighting hummus. Hummus, yeah. hummus that too. Yeah, we're fighting hummus, which I love hummus. I do too. I don't love them. I love hummus. <laughs> UV light up up your ass. One of my personal favorites. I gotta say. Okay. Uh, also, the look on I is Scarfy McScarferson. That what's her name? Doctor Scarf- Scarfy McScarferson I from her Scarf name. Town. What's her name? Doctor Deborah Burks. Deborah Burks. Deborah Burks. That was my yeah, favorite. Yeah, is look on her face when he looked at her. Couldn't you do a thing <laughs> where you shove it UV light up? Somebody <laughs> put a disinfectant in. It. She felt like like she wanted to grow off six more scarves to oh. cover her face. Well, but, yeah. It was. It was that. Uh, Hello, darkness, my old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to talk with you again. Uh-huh. All right. And your final advice: take a deep breath, take a big sip of wine, and remind yourself uh, that uh, Trump lost and Joe Biden won the last election. So there, mm-hmm. Neener. Mm-hmm. That was a. That is a fantastic primer for getting through your. Do you now? Do you? Do you have Please. megas in your family? Do you have these actual conversations? Uh, I do. Oh I, I think they would call themselves MAGA adjacent okay. because they're not like the right. MAGA snuggy wearing, like rally going, um, make America great again, hat buying kind of MAGA, but they voted for Trump twice and would oh. vote for him a third time. Oh. Um, the rule of thumb ever since 2016 was that we don't talk about it, we don't talk about any of it. Invariably, someone will have that extra sip of something and they'll be a passive aggressive like um did you know that you know privileged white men are the most marginalized group in america kind of comment oh. that i have to choose very carefully to engage with or not um so it does it can get a little heated or there was the whole argument one year about how those confederate statues are part of our history and how can we take them oh, down dear. it's denying who we are oh, dear. Uh, no. So I, I uh, do have that in my family. Oh I love my family very much. And we try very hard I, to I play gotta, cards against humanity and yeah. not talk about Trump. I, have to, <laughs> I know. I have to say that became I, a strategy in my family. I just, you know, my mom passed this year at 100 years old and, you know, with, with Alzheimer's. And we just a long time ago stopped talking about politics because it wasn't worth it. But, I mean, it, it, it's, it is amazing how many friends and family this, this divisive a-hole has ripped apart. I mean, because it, it, it's, at this point, it's not really just a difference of political opinion anymore. It's like, what did someone say? It's not whether he has any decency, it's whether we do. I mean, ha, 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 if you vote for him now, I, I, don't, yeah. I don't know how you can... I, I don't know how you reconcile that with someone you love. I don't either. And it's really, it's it's one of those things where you didn't think you never, I never thought in my life I'd have to grapple with that. But, you know, he, he dehumanizes people. He calls them vermin. And, you know, these are, I yeah. think of my family as good people. I know they have good hearts. And I know that a lot of people are conflicted because they look at their family right now and they're like, but you, this isn't who you are. You don't, yeah. you wouldn't support this in anybody else. So why this? Why, how are you willing to, how are you able to, separate this out and it's really it's really sad 
You know what I would do if I had a Trump family still? I would I would just I would make everything at Thanksgiving orange just to just to, you know, with them. Just everything would be orange. Sunshine salad. Yeah, sunshine salad, <laughs> Cheetos. <laughs> Cheetos. Yeah. Tang. Cheese it. Yeah. And just no maybe no turkey nothing. Like, why is this? And I'm like, because you love orange Hitler, so enjoy. <laughs> Eat up. I just why thought are of that we now. carving this? Why are we carving this giant orange melon? Like, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, cantaloupe. I want a thigh from the melon? I don't know what's happening here. Uh, sprinkle the turkey with Cheeto dust. <laughs> there you there go. You go. Okay, there you go. Good, but you're, I, I think it would too, But you're actually. most uh, traumatized, and let, let's be empathetic for a minute, that you have to pump gas. And this now is something you are not acquainted with? or uh, they, It's illegal to pump your own gas in New Jersey. Oh, mm-hmm. ah, good to know. Yeah. So you have to go somewhere else. So this is a new skill for you. Yeah, it's yeah. um, it's. I was talking to Tara Setmayer the other day because we're both Jersey girls, and it's 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 crazy. We're now the I think the only state. It was us in Oregon, and I think it's just Jersey now. Yeah. It is we, just we're Jersey not allowed now. To, yeah, yeah. And it's I've never had to. Um, I've lived a lot of places, but I, I've never had to put my own gas on a regular basis. And I just I have to go to Ohio. I don't have to. I'm going to Ohio for Thanksgiving, <laughs> and it's that that annual pilgrimage that I they dread that stretch where my tank starts to get low, and right. I know that I have to you do it. To panic. I, yeah. All the things I think every time I think the gas is just going to go flying, yeah. and, and it's going to be a fire, and I'm going to burn a whole town down, and it's bad. Yeah, I've been pumping gas since I was. I, can we have that law everywhere? Yeah. I like that law. I liked it when the guy did it and he cleaned your and windshield. It cost you a lot more money. It did. I liked it. Yeah. I I would have no I idea. I want it to be illegal to pump to your own gas. A, I would. Have I know where. A full service yes. gas station. There's, I have no idea where. There's one in Beverly Hills. Okay. And there's now one in Malibu. Our yeah. first Thanksgiving fight is broken out because yeah. of you. <laughs> <laughs> of course, there's one in Beverly Hills, though. It's of like, course. Right, of course. Caviar and grape you, But look, you, you know what? In. Hold those up. You have those Jersey girl nails. I can see why. <laughs> it's no, terrifying. my nails are so mom nails. I oh, have are the they lamest. Mom nails? Okay. I have mom. Oh my gosh. I'm a utilitarian. Like, I will wash the dishes, mom nails. I'm I'm woefully <laughs> not cute. All right. So I have all that. the makeup all day long with the makeup. All right. But I don't do the nails. It's not practical right. for me. You can do it. You can pump the gas. It's going to be fine. There's not going to be a fire. Or you'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to call you, Stephanie. You can please walk yeah, me walk through, through it. Yeah, walk her through it. I need a coach. A don't don't coach. use a cell phone near the gas. Don't so, do don't, that. Right. <laughs> now you tell me? Oh, no. Wait, what about matches? Are no. they? Oh, no. Lighting no cigarettes. Matches. Nothing. No. <laughs> okay. It's like, can't even do cigarettes? All right. Well, I don't I, so I, we, Now you're going to tell me I can't curl my hair while I'm pumping gas. Oh, no, you can't do that either. No. Do that in the bathtub. <laughs>